Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, let us understand the importance of x by r ratio in power system. Before understanding importance of x by r ratio, let us analyze nature of fall current as per IEC 60909. You can see here there is a huge current flow at the instant of fault. So that is represented as peak current. As the time progresses, the fall current decreases and approaching steady state value here. At the instant of fault, there is a DC component. The DC component is a decaying nature. The decaying nature decided by X by R ratio. So X by R ratio affects the level of short circuit current. A circuit breaker is required to interrupt. Peak current is different from RMS current and the level of DC component decay is decided by X by R ratio. Let us analyze these importance factors in the upcoming slide. In order to understand the impact of grid X by R value on a fault current, I have chosen one simple ETAP model where the grid is with uh, x by r value of 6 fall current of 40 kiloamps uh, i have provided one cable that connects transformer cable with the length of 50 meter r1 x1 value displayed here and the transformer is a 2 mva transformer primary with 11 kv secondary with 0.433 kv impedance of the transformer is 6.25 percentage and R by X value is 0.167. So fault is created on bus number 2 as well as bus number 3 where you can see the fault current on bus number 2 is 40 kiloamps and bus number 3 is 42.484. In fact both these values are initial symmetrical RMS current. Here you can able to see here. If I change the X by R value as 14 or 100, it doesn't matter the fall current on bus number 4 and bus number 6, even 40 kiloamps, and bus number 5, bus number 7, almost 42 kiloamps. There is no major change observed in initial, initial symmetrical RMS value. But if you are displaying peak value, what will happen? So before moving to that, let us conclude that X by R value on a fault current, especially on RMS value of fault current, doesn't have any impact. No. I am taking the same ETAP model, X by R ratio of 6, 14 and 100. Instead of displaying initial symmetrical RMS value, peak value is displayed here. Have a look at the peak value at bus number 2 on our first model, 91.324 kiloamps. On a bus number 4, middle ETAP model, which is 102.44 and bus number 6 on my right hand side ETAC model it is triple 1.5 kiloamps. When you clearly notice this you can see whenever XPR value is increases the peak value of fault current increases. That is what I said XPR value having impact on peak value but not on RMS. The conclusion what we are making from this slide is X by R ratio has huge impact on peak value but not on RMS value. RMS value of fall current remains same but the peak value of fall current decided by X by R value.
now the question is why peak current is greater when we are changing xdr value this is because of dc component your xdr value is low means dc component decaying quickly that you can see here from the blue curve for 14 the time taken to reach zero is slightly higher for xbr value of 100 it is taking too much time to reach zero value so this is how the peak value is different in the case of previous etf model so xbr value deciding the dc component decay which in turn decide the peak current of fault current i hope you can understand what is the importance of xbr ratio in the power system